We're students from St Francis Xavier's College in Liverpool and over the last couple of years we've been studying Shakespeare and today we're going to talk about um, tragedy and love, especially in the context of King Lear. We've mostly concentrated on Shakespearean tragedies, which of course derive from the classical Greek tragedies. These always involve a protagonist with a fatal flaw, usually hubris, which is basically excessive pride. They will always invoke tragic pleasure and pity. Shakespearean tragedies have moved on since this. They concentrate more on complex individuals, more spectacle approach. The, the individual will always have moral responsibility and there will always be ironic resonance at its conclusion. We've come to enjoy um, Shakespeare, apart from its obvious dramatic plots, which are still relevant today and that's why audiences still enjoy them. Shakespeare confers dignity on tragedy by the power of verse. For example, um, the great moment in Leah when Leah realises his love for humanity. Poor naked wretches, where to where you are, that by the pelting of this pitiless storm, how shall your houseless heads and unfed sides, your looped and windowed raggedness, defend you from seasons such as these? So the type of love that, and the um, aspects which have been so interested in is the conflict that's displayed between divine love and between erotic love. And um, if we look at this in the context of Shakespeare, if we look in the context of when the play was released, we can see that like divine love represents um, an ordered hierarchy, whereas erotic love is shown to represent chaos. And these are contrasted in um, the love test, which you see at the start of the play. With King Lear's love test, he starts out with divine love to um, give away his kingdom. However, with Goneril and Regan's sentimental words, Leah becomes um, seduced by them. We see this contrasted with the love that Cordelia shows and at a later stage in the play, the love that Kent and Edgar show also. They're not bound by the same um, sentiments as Goneril and Regan. They're not taken in into quantifying their love and they remain true and virtuous throughout the play. This is displayed by Cordelia in the love test. Um, in the love test, Cordelia says, What shall Cordelia speak? Love and be silent, showing that her love is pure for Leah. This is mirrored, of course, in the subplot, where although Gloss doesn't quantify love the same way Leah does, he has a strange attitude towards it. He has two sons, one legitimate and one illegitimate. He seems to put most of his trust in his illegitimate son and says there was good sport in his making. This shows him um, the trouble it's caused by Gloucester's infidelity shows again the contrast between true love and erotic love. Because in Shakespeare's time, especially, the type of love that Gloucester has, when he's conceiving Edmund, it was seen to be destructive, whereas love showed by Cordelia and by France is shown to be virtuous and a positive thing. An and almost divine, divine quality. Mm -hmm. The destruction does occur at the end of the play, as gone on Regan's lust leads to their corruption of their own power. Which of course loses them the kingdom. Whereas on the other hand, Cordelia and Kent's love, which just remains true throughout, even though they've suffered hardships, is shown to have positive consequences to an extent. This shows the chaos that can ensue um, when erotic love takes over, the type that's displayed in the play. This leads to um, a conflict between Gloucester and his two sons, as in the same way it does between Leah and his daughters. At the end of the play, though, there are two different inter interpretations as to how love resolves itself. Some people think that um, love is shown to Comke and the true love of Cordelia and Edgar come out on top in the end of the play. But it's something that we've discussed and we've agreed on, that we think that Shakespeare's shown that love can't always triumph and the damage that can be wreaked when erotic love takes over 